Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the Daily Bible Reading for September 22nd. And today we're going to be covering the rest of the book of Amos, chapters 6 through 9. So I'd like to greet you, as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. All right, so if you're just joining me, you can turn along with me to Amos chapter 6, and we will get started here. And here we go. Amos chapter 6 and verse 1 says, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion, and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations, to whom the house of, Isra of Israel came. Pass ye unto Kalna, and see, and from thence go ye to Hamath the great, then go down to Gath of the Philistines. Be they better than these kingdoms, or their border greater than your border? Yet uh, ye that put far away the evil day, and ca cause the seat of violence to come near, that lie upon beds of ivory, and stretch themselves upon their couches, and eat the lambs out of the flock, and the calves out of the midst of the stall, that chant to the sound of the vial, and invest to themselves instruments of music, like David, that drink wine and bowls, and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Therefore now shall they go captive with the first that go captive, and the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. <clears throat> The Lord God has sworn by himself, saith the Lord of the God of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob, and hate his palaces. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein, and it shall come to pass, if there remain ten men in one house, that they shall die, and a man's uncle shall take him up, and he that burneth him to bring out the bones out of the house, and shall uh, say unto him, That is my, or that is by the sides of the house, is there yet any with thee? And he shall say, No. Then shall he say, Hold thy tongue, for we may not make mention of the name of the Lord. For behold, the Lord commandeth, and he will smite the great house with breaches, and, uh, the little house with clefts. Shall horses run upon the rock? Well, one plow there with oxen? For ye have turned judgment into gall, and the fruit of righteousness into hemlock. Ye which rejoice in a thing of naught, which say, Have we not taken to us horns by our own strength? But behold, I will raise up against you a nation, O house of Israel, saith the Lord, the God of hosts. And they shall afflict you from the entering in of Hamath unto the river of the wilderness. Mm. Chapter 7. Thus hath the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth, and lo, it was the latter growth after the king's mowings. And it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord God, forgive, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise? For he is small. The Lord repented for this. It shall not be, saith the Lord. Thus hath the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold, the Lord called to contend by fire, and it devoured the great deep, and did eat up a part. Then said I, O Lord God, cease, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise? For he is small. The Lord repented for this. This also shall not be, saith the Lord God. Uh, thus he showed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A plumb line. Then said the Lord, Behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. I will not again pass by them any more, and the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, 
and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, uh, sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel, saying, Amos hath conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos saith, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their own hand or, or their own land. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go, flee thee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread, and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. Then answered Amos, and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son, but I was a herdsman, and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. Now therefore hear thou the word of the Lord. Thou sayest, Prophesy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line. And thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Chapter 8, in verse 1, Thus hath the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold, a basket of summer fruit. And he said, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A basket of summer fruit. Then said the Lord unto me, The end is come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And the songs of the temple shall be howlings in that day, saith the Lord God. There shall be many dead bodies in every place. They shall cast them forth with silence. Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needy, even to make the poor of the land to fail, saying, When will the new moon be gone, that we may sell corn, and the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small, and the shekel uh, great, and falsifying the balances by deceit, that we may buy the poor for silver, and the needy for a pair of shoes, yea, and sell the refuge of the wheat. The Lord has sworn by the excellency of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of their works. Shall not the land tremble for this, and eat every one mourn that dwelleth therein, and if, uh, and it shall rise up wholly as a flood, and it shall be cast out and drowned as by the flood of Egypt, and it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day, and I will turn your feasts into mourning, and all your songs into lamentations. I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, and baldness upon every head, and I will make it as the morning of an only sun, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Wow. Uh, in that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. They that swear by the sin of Samaria, and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, and thy manner of uh, Beersheba liveth. Even they shall fall, and never rise up again. Chapter 9, verse 1. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the posts may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall mine hand take them, though they climb up to heaven, 
Thence will I bring them down, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them, and though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them, and I will set mine eyes upon them for evil, and not for good. And the Lord God of hosts is he that toucheth the land, and it shall melt, and all that dwell therein shall mourn, and it shall rise up wholly like a flood, and shall be drowned as by the flood of Egypt. It is he that buildeth his stories in the heavens, and hath founded his troop in the earth, he that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth, the Lord is his name. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? saith the Lord, Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt, and the Philistines from uh, Kaftor, and the Syrians from Kerr? Behold, the lies of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, uh, like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the le least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor pre uh, prevent us. In that day will I rise, uh, raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the br uh, breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and of all the heathen which are called by my, ma by my name, saith the Lord, that uh, doeth this. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes him that soweth seed, and the mountains shall drop wheat wine, and all the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities, and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards, and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens, and eat the fruit of them, and I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord thy God. Amen. And that is the end of the book of Amos. Amen. So let me see where we're going to be on the next Bible reading broadcast. So we'll be reading uh, Obadiah through Jonah. So we'll be reading Obadiah, which is one uh, which is one chapter, and then Jonah, which is four chapters. So we'll have one chapter of Obadiah, and then all four chapters of Jonah tomorrow, Lord willing. So hope you'll come back for that. Amen. So, all right. Well, until next time, may the Lord richly bless you, and Hope you'll have a great and wonderful rest of your day. And remember, Jesus saves. So if you're not saved yet, the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Amen. All right, well, bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.